Hello guys, sorry about that, that's just me getting in the zone with my uh, movie trailer voice. So what we're gonna do today as I said is we're gonna take a look at how to use the background image in React Native to create a full screen background image for the entire application. So now what I did is uh, I've already created a new React Native project with a create React Native app command. And I've also got my emulator up and running, so if you haven't started your emulator yet, go ahead and do that. And then when, once you've created your new project, go ahead and create a new folder here in the root uh, of your project. My project is named background image. You can name your project whatever you want to call it. Uh, go ahead and create a new application. Oh, sorry, a new folder named app. And in the app uh, folder, create a new folder called image. And inside the image folder, just download whatever image you want to use as the background for your application. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and import the image background component from React Native. And we're just gonna use this default code, code that comes with the React Native installation. And we're just gonna replace this view element with the image background component we just imported. So image background and also the finishing the closing tag right there. So we're gonna give the image background a source, which is gonna be, of course, the image. So we're gonna say source equals with, and then we're gonna require the image. So require, and then it's simply the path to the image. So in this case for me, it's app slash image slash background dot JPEG. And we're actually gonna, I'm just gonna move the emulator out a little bit to the right here. And we're gonna keep the style here of this image background to uh, styles.container. And as you can see, the container style has a flex of one, so full height, full width. Uh, we can remove the background color, we don't need that. And let's keep the line item center and justify content center. These two lines will align all content inside the image background around uh, along the y axis as well as along the x axis. Let's go ahead and hit save. We're gonna see if it's reloading. And there we go, now we actually got a full screen uh, background image thanks to the image background component. So on uh, now you can use this as any container. So let's for example say that we want to create a container inside this background with all our content and design and so on. So what you could do there for example is create a new view Give it a style of, let's say, styles.inner. Uh, let's go ahead and close it. Go down here and create a new uh, style sheet or a new style for the inner uh, element. And let's set a width, let's say uh, 80% in width. And let's set a height. Uh, we can give it uh, 80 as well in height. And then just a background color, um, so let's say uh, we can use RGBA, which lets us add an alpha channel, so we can use some transparency. So let's just say 255, 255, 255, that's white in RGBA. And then some transparency, so, transparency, so let's say .7. And now this is equal to 0.7. And hit save. I'm just gonna double tap R, tap R. And now as you can see, we got this uh, perfectly centered inner container as well. And inside here, we can then go ahead, we could go ahead and um, add text or, or input or um, login forms or whatever we want. So that's how you um, easily can use an image as the main container and as a background image for the entire application. So I hope you learned something. Bye-bye.